So here we are. Uh, the plan is to make something along these lines. Um, inspiration came from a holiday in France this year where um, there was a lot of those, a lot of different options on those, so we thought we'd try and give it a go. Um, we've got some shells, etc., uh, for decoration afterwards. And um, the plan is to try and what, we, what I'm going to do because obviously we've got a few weeks to do this. Um, we'll do a single photo frame and also I'm going to try and do some multiple photo frames. Um, I think we're going to have a bash at trying to replicate this as well uh, where we can put the lines in um, to make the beach hut style. Um, it doesn't have to be exactly straight, it doesn't have to be exactly even because it will look a little bit weather worn. Then afterwards we're going to put on a base coat, um, put a white coat over the top and then go at it with some of the tools that come with the Dremel to try and make it look a bit more weather worn than it already is. Um, been out, we've got uh, MDF sheet uh, purchased yesterday so we are all ready to go and um, <coughs> yeah. so we're about to make a start. We have the Dremel. I've already put the, um, the drill and the bit on it I, I want to be using. Um, <coughs> I've marked out my wood what I'm just trying to figure out now is, uh, for this first cut, I want it to be a nice straight cut. Um, so I'm just going to figure out some way of putting it to brace across, so I can literally line that up um, so it's not going to wobble about the place, it's going to go in a nice straight line. So that'll be put one when we come. Okay, so we've um, that bit's now gone all the way through, so I'm going to continue on with a bit at the top. Just click this on. And off we go. There it is. <clears throat> My piece of wood completely cut all down that end with a nice, relatively um. <clears throat> smooth edge okay so um here we are back again we have um the wood that we cut uh on, on the last exercise it's now all been marked out as you can see um where we want to go um this bit is going to be cut out this bit is going to be made to look hopefully like a um, fo uh, like a frame and this these will be grooved along those thick lines to make it look like um wood wooden slats as in like um this hopefully looks okay so we've figured out that um pulling it towards you is a lot easier i'm going to carry on now and do the rest of these all the way down it doesn't have to be perfect i know it doesn't have to be perfect because it's got to look a little bit rough anyway so i'm going to continue down and do these without filming and then um we'll show how to look at the end okay so we're now taking the um, edges down to give me a bevel As you can see, I've got to work away down on that to give me a nice clean edge. But okay, we've had a little play. We've tried um, that tool again. As you can see, the blues on the end um, goes through a bit too quickly. That one, as we know, goes through a little bit quickly. Uh, that one's not too bad. Um, it has to be quite slow to do it. This one seems to be the best. A little bit of glass paper on the end, as you can see, but we can kind of just lightly take off. So, I'm going to have a little try, just get that out of the way. I'm going to have a little try now on the actual frame itself. Just to try, because this should be, because this has had more coats of paint than that, so it should be able to go through, and I should be able to dig down through the lines a little bit. So we give it a little go and see what happens. Okay, I'm going to finish this one off now, and then we'll have a look at it when it's done. 